Poisoned and bound. That's the title of the sermon. Poisoned by bitterness, bound by iniquity. So today is a message of deliverance. It's a message to bring people out of being poisoned and bound. I'm talking to believers. I'm talking to God's people that some of us are in that place. And today God wants to bring you out of being poisoned and delivered, put you back on the right place where you're supposed to be in your journey with Him. So what we want to do simply is this. We want to look at the progression. What caused Simon to go from this beautiful spiritual journey into that place where he was in an undesirable spiritual state. So the first thing we see is this. Simon, there is a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding of God's ways and God's works. So that's where it started, with a misunderstanding. God was doing something genuine, but he didn't understand it. Uh, he came to some wrong conclusions about it. And he tried to approach it in an incorrect way by offering money. Simon began that way. He didn't understand that the work of God, this is a gift of God and you don't purchase it with money. The second thing we see there is that here a genuine believer went into a place of misalignment with the heart of God. So his heart was no longer right in the sight of God. It was not aligned to the heart of God. In our own lives, we must be careful. When our hearts get misaligned from the heart of God, we start pursuing things for the wrong reasons. We start pursuing spiritual things for the wrong reasons. That's a misalignment of, the heart, of our heart from God's heart. Self-deception brings us out of alignment with the heart of God. Self-deception is so dangerous because we don't know what's happening to us. We don't even know when we are deceived. The third thing we see is there was maliciousness towards God and his people. Simon was once the man in Samaria. He had the power, he had the control, he had everybody under him through witchcraft. He was, he was the boss. But now things have changed so drastically. He's no longer in control. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus that's prevailing. Everybody is following Jesus. And then there are other people who are leaders. So wicked thoughts in his heart, maliciousness, brought him into this place where he was poisoned and bound. So three simple antidotes from getting into this undesirable place of being poisoned by bitterness and bound, being bound by sin. Seek understanding from God. When God does, God will work in ways uh, and do works that you and I are unfamiliar with. When you see God doing that, either in other people's lives or in your own life, ask God to give you understanding. Second, always keep your heart right before God. Lord, help me guard my heart. The attitudes of my heart, the motives of my heart, the thoughts of my heart, the pursuits of my heart. I want to keep it right. I want to keep it right. And God, I always want to do what love will do. Love will never hurt the other person. Love will not destroy another person. Love will not backbite another person. Love will not, you know, gossip about another person. Love will not do that. So always walk in love. And if you, you and I maintain these three, we will prevent ourselves from falling in to that place of being poisoned by bitterness and being bound by sin. Now, what's the cure? First, you've got to repent. Tell God, Lord, this thing should not be in me. I repent for letting it get into my system. Repent. God, I'm sorry. That's, that's the strong rebuke that Peter gives to Simon. He says, repent. You know, and then of course, we have to renounce it. I, mean, I cannot keep these wrong heart attitudes of bitterness and maliciousness toward God and His people. I renounce it. I get rid of sin. I get rid of this wickedness in my heart. And then I restore or make restitution. Uh, we see in scripture that repentance is not complete without restitution. That means you, can, you need to do whatever you need to do to restore relationships, restore uh, 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 things that, to make things right before God and before people. So repent, renounce, restore. And God will bring us out of that place of being poisoned by bitterness 
and being bound by sin. 